Hey y'all, Jen Hernandez, Loan with Jen. Today we're gonna to talk about how your credit score is determined. You don't wanna miss this. Okay, we're back. So, credit score is the biggest mystery ever. So did you know that there's over 25 different formulas of FICO? FICO is the Fair Isaac Credit Corporation. You can go to myfico.com, click the education tab and get all kinds of history. But today we're gonna to talk about the percentages. Now, keep in mind what I'm gonna talk about is what lenders FICO model adheres to. So your credit card and all that online stuff that you subscribe to is completely different than what I'm gonna talk about. So that's super important for you to know. Uh, the things that you're getting online as a consumer is just a, yes, it's a general health of your credit, but the modeling system is not close to what lenders are pulling. So do watch my other video about truth about credit inquiries, um, but here we're talking about the score. So here it is. And again, you can get this on myfico.com. 30% uh, of your score is the amount that you owe. Okay, so that's super important about percent utilization. That's a large chunk, that's one third is the amount that you owe. Um, the other third is your payment history. So between those two, your payment history and amount that you owe, that's 65%, that's two thirds of your score. So let's talk about amount that you owe really quick. That's percent utilization and that is individually on your cards. It's not total cards, but it's individual. So be really careful that you don't charge more than 30% on your cards, or at least when you're trying to get a mortgage. And the balance that's reported every month, they're not live balances, it's the balance at the cutoff of your statement. So that's when you want it to be 30%, and that's gonna ha en enhance and make sure you have the best score possible, okay? So again, that's one third of your score. So the other third is your payment history. So a late payment of 30 days, so if your due date is on the 9th, you've gotta pay by the seventh of that next month. If you if you click over into 30 days late, the lenders have no mercy. They will not allow you to waive that late. They will report you late and your credit score with, a, with an event of a delinquency, whether it is a credit card payment or a loan payment or even a collection that goes bad, that can dive your score in a short period of time like 100 points. So you wanna make sure that you pay attention to that. So again, that's one third of your score is the amount that you owe and your percent utilization, okay? And, and the history of your payments. So 10% is the credit mix. So credit mix means, do you have revolving debt? Do you have installment debt? The, the best combination of credit for you to have is an installment type debt, which is like a recurring payment every single month, like a car payment, a mortgage payment, uh, a sales contract, let's say you bought windows and it's equal installments over you know, two years or something, that's an installment debt. That mixed with credit card debt, which is called revolving debt, is the very best combination. And no more than two or three credit cards, okay? That is the best combination for you. If you have an excess of that, you wanna close unnecessary credit cards. It will not hurt your credit. There's a myth out there about that. Um, the next thing, 10% of your score is new credit. So when you have a new credit card or a new car payment, your score does go down just a tad bit until that new card can be rated. So even though you might have 20 years of excellent credit, if in a short period of time we're pulling the credit score and in the last five months you've got two or three new accounts, that signals and, and red flags the scoring model system to think, whether it's true or not, that you must be desperate and that you need money and then it falsely lowers your score. So watch out for new debt, okay? Sometimes it's inevitable, we've gotta do it, but do do watch that. The last thing, um, length of your credit history. So if you have credit cards or accounts that are less than 12 months reviewed or 24 or 36, everything stair steps in 12 months. 
So when you have a new debt, you'll start to get points back at 12 months, more points back at 24. It's like a reward system, okay? So the longer your debt is seasoned, the better your credit score is. And 10% of your score is inquiries, guys. So inquiries is not a large part of your score. I know there's a rumor out there that uh, it'll dive your credit if you check um, your credit with a lender. Watch my video about truth about credit inquiries. Uh, but again, the mix of credit and how your credit score is determined are these five to six simple factors. I hope that you found this useful and I'll talk to you soon. Legacy Mutual Mortgage is an equal housing opportunity lender. The opinions expressed here do not reflect those of Legacy Mutual Mortgage.